Well, you asked for it and today we will do it. The most important video in the universe. And the question is, which one of these to get? Um, yeah, well, where do we start? We start with commercial. No, I don't have a commercial. I'm making this just for fun and because I'm a uh, Casio passionate and yeah, I'm Dario, um, 47, I draw comics, um, I paint paintings, I'm finishing paintings, comics, card games, altars. Yeah, well, there you have it, your commercial. Um, check down the links below and you will get to my different channels. Um, yeah, but let's focus on what's important, the most important question in the universe, which one to get. And I'm excluding this because we're talking about um, a cheap watch with a rubber band. The only watch you'll ever need, some will say, and they might be right. So, um, the real question is, which one to get, a Casio F91, a Casio uh, F105, um, or a W, um, a W86. That's the real question. That's the question. That's why I have three watches here, because I went on a journey, and we'll get philosophical now. Um, you gotta try. You won't know otherwise. But I will say everything I have to say in this video about um, what you should get, and listen. The most important thing I say here is this. Nobody else, no external force can tell you what is right for you. You have to see what fits you, what kind of um, wrist you have, what wrist size. I would have measured it, but I don't know. I have a pretty, um, pretty tiny wrist, I guess. It's a wrist of an artist, as you can see. Pencils, artwork, um, stuff I make. Um, healing bracelets. So my fingers and my uh, wrist is an artistic one. And maybe you have an ogre wrist and I don't know if this will fit you. Um, another thing I have to say before we start, um, these watches you see in these pictures are all the watches I have. Am I a watch collector? No. Um, but you can be. Should you be? That's the different question. Um, I'm wearing these watches. Do I need that, that many watches? The answer is no, definitely not. That's a thing of a materialistic world um, in which we spend our time um, on self-improvement and on tweaking stuff that might not be important while there are other important things in life like life. But since we are Casio Appassionados, let's do it the right way. These are all the watches I have. I had more watches and I got rid of everything I don't need. And let me take a seat here. Um, and I have to mention one other watch. What's the name? Um, I wish I would have written it down. It's um, it's a round one. It's a, it's a W200. Um, and two. I will link it down below or I will put it up here um, in reference to Ben's Watch Club. Um, it's a really great watch and it has a round case, it is thicker um, and it has a bright LCD. Um, this is not so bright because these two um, have the illuminator thingy um, so they a bit grayish. But yeah, that I wanted to mention um, in a second. I will put uh, timestamps which one to get. Um, I was I wanted just to get you like this is my Idris Elba DJ watch. This I wear for Saturdays, for festive things, for when I want to feel like a king. This one, which is a very solid watch, I wear this when I play my guitar on the streets. Not this guitar, but a uh, Western guitar. And I want to feel like Ryan Gosling, like a businessman, like I want to mean business. This is my business watch. This watch I put on for sports or when I need a timer. This is my 
Skme, and it's my G-Shock, and I love it. And this one is my beach watch, my holiday watch when the summer comes, and um, yeah. So after we have seen all this, which one to get? Um, as I recommend, this one is slim and is cheap. Uh, it used to be pre-COVID. It's very slim, um, and I will show you how slim it is. Um, it is very slim. It fits everywhere. Um, that is, it's upside. It's cheap. It's slim. It's everything you need. You don't need more. If you're a minimalistic guy, this is everything you need. Yes, it has a bad backlight, but it can and it does its job. And that's important. So if you don't need much more, I have a friend and he wears only this. Only this. He doesn't need anything else. He's happy with it. And I was kind of happy with it. I got it in the summer, but in the winter... Um, I use um, the backlight a lot, so I am into functionality and that leads me further on the journey. So there is no better or worse, it's just what fits you. And that is the important part of this video. Um, about the rubber band or um, the strap, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I tell you when I wear this. I wear this in the morning, I wear this um, for working, for drawing comics, like this is a, it makes me feel very simple and very light. And if you want that feeling to be simple and light and kind of natural, this is the way to go. I also have to say, um, today I was uh, into uh, thinking about DJing, so I got on this watch. Usually I wear uh, a simple watch. And then on my other hand, I wear uh, healing bracelets, which I make myself. And as you can see, um, this healing bracelets are kind of like a prescription, like I was sometimes stuck in life. So this is appetite and it creates appetite in life. You can, I don't know if it works, if these things really put your chakras and vibrations and pull them into the right space but when I'm wearing this on my hand and I made this myself um, I feel the beach I feel alive I feel adventurous I feel the fire I feel um, spirituality this is my tiger jungle thingy I feel like a tiger I feel like in the jungle I feel like a warrior and um, as you can see they fit like sometimes I'm in my warrior mode, sometimes I'm in my flowing mode, then I have a different bracelet and so on. I created myself, but only as a prescription for myself. And as a necklace, I wear usually a stone um, and you don't have to. And right now I'm wearing this, this frog. So next thing I will put the down set this is a very solid watch it is but then why did I get myself a different watch so um, I usually hear this is a better watch than this than this get this watch should I get it due to COVID um, I think this used to be this used to be 10 bucks um, this used to be 20 or 17 and this used to be 20 21 22 now it's all um, a bit harder because they don't produce it in mass. Um, should you pay a up price upfront, this is a great watch. It is probably the best of all of them, but hear me out before you rush to buy. Um, this is also a pretty solid watch. If you're looking for a slim watch that has a proper backlight, then this one is the one to get. Because Look at this. Uh, nobody tells you like um, these two have the exact same rubber bands. And if I'm wearing this, the band sticks out like kind of up here. I will I will show you. But it sticks out. And if you toss it, if you're turning it, it's sometimes um, yeah, it's getting on my nerves because all the swimming watches. 
are a bit longer so you don't lose them in the water so look at this um, this will stick out a bit at least if you have tiny wrists um, yes the quality of the band is a bit better but I, I, I truly love the simple ones um, and one thing I have to say I think that um, the buttons here like I love this watch because it's like really um, it is an upgrade to the F91 the downside is this this display is very clear and all the illuminated displays are a bit grayish you can't see it right now and you cannot see it like uh, if it's bright day but they're a bit muted in their tones look at here look they're muted this is a clear display I love this this watch also has a very clear display it's the LCD displays and then they have a backlight like this um, if I could get it in focus and I do prefer the LCD displays and not these grayish ones but that's just the taste um, what do I have to say um, for the color this um, beige and blue it's very cool but it's very very understated like I love bright colors as you can see I'm wearing um, something yellow like my wardrobe um, a bit messy but as you can see I'm a colorful guy um, I don't I don't like all this black and gray and hiding behind oh I'm so cool I'm wearing black no man I, we're talking color we're talking life we're talking balls <laughs> um, and this is very understated but this I was wearing a lot um, in the winter month October November December January February because it had a proper backlight and because here in Germany um, it got um, very dark very early very gray days so you need the backlight very often like wherever you are it's a bit darker so you're using the backlight and uh, and this was this is the watch for the summer month and this is the watch for the winter month and the cool thing about this is uh, in the winter month you're w wearing clothes and um, both are very comfortable um, you can turn your wrist and nothing will stick out um, and that's it like no bad things to say about these watches and now the question you're waiting for is this watch the best watch of all of them I don't want to say something stupid um, probably the answer is yes but hear me out um, every wrist is different every flavor is different do you like the colors if you uh, I really much lo love this color scheme and this may be slightly one of my least favorite but it's beautiful and this is really killer but that's personal taste so what's your personal taste you gotta find out um, the cool thing about this watch is that it is pretty thick and sometimes I love I love to wear something on my wrist um, that feels a bit heavier and as you can see the buttons are also heavier and thicker and it's a really good feeling like sometimes it just feels fun to press a thick button because we're man and on these they're pretty medium sized I would say on these they're kind of small but they do the job and it's cool and that's it's very satisfying to have this watch on your wrist um, it has illuminator it has 50 meter resistance these are 30 so I don't go dive with those watches but yeah um, the band is cool I hear a lot of people say oh this is the better band get this this is trash again personal taste it is a cool band something I have to say all of these watches I have um, this all watches are very comfortable uh, no watch even even this may um, create um, heat or, or, or a sense of um, warmth but this band sometimes when I'm wearing it gets hot or gets my my wrist somehow hot like sometimes you know what I mean I cannot explain it really but um, of Itali in Italian it's called a pitch this heißt um, it heats up 
It does. And I don't know why it is, maybe because it's thicker rubber or because it's a different rubber band. And I experienced this only with this watch. And maybe it's just my personal thing. Um, but yeah. And should you pay like 50 bucks for this watch if you can't have it for 20? I would say this. Wait till it costs 20, 25, even pay 30. Um, should you get this watch instead? I don't know. It's a different watch. Try, sell it away if you don't need it. Don't hoard all the watches. I'm I, As you can see, I wear this for a purpose like... This is my summer watch when I want to feel strong and like a barbarian. This is when I want to feel military. This is when I feel like Ryan Gosling. Uh, Idris Elba, when I want to feel simple and uh, uh, minimalistic. When I want to relax at the evenings with my joggings, I would wear this. And this is maybe my... I go out at night and want to still be leisure. Each of these watches are great. And this um, is definitely, definitely a great watch. So I'm sure I couldn't answer you, but um, it's a great watch. Um, if these watches would cost more, which they right now do, they're still um, worth the price. Um, that's how good they are. And what can I say more than that? If you have further questions, um, ask me down below. But yeah, I would say it's personal taste. Try it out. Don't hoard it. Um, and yeah, don't forget the A202 or um, I will link it down below or link it up here. It's a really great watch because it has it is round. The, it's also available in silver, uh, in silver, in rubber. Um, it has the swimming band. It must be a W202, I guess. And it's a bit thicker. And when you press down the button, it has four buttons, it is round. And when you press down, it illuminates for two seconds with an orange light. And it's just, it has a double orange light and it's just beautiful. I gave it away because, um, again, the long rubber band um, was getting a bit on my nerves. Um, and I thought, man, okay, I'm not using it. So let someone else use this watch. Um, I put it on eBay and someone bought it and I hope they treat it really well. But that was also a really great watch. And yeah, I had also Skmees. I gave them away and a long video. I hope I could help. Um, ask me any questions and I will answer them best as I can. And um, do you need healing bracelets? I don't know. It's just my personal taste. Do you? Um, and as always like copy and then while you're copying or learning the language of life or what you really really want um, you you will figure out um, don't do things that are uncomfortable to yourself find a sweet spot that doesn't mean become soft but um, do you find out who you are and what you like and what really works for you and it might take a while sometimes things are good then they're bad then they're good and my prognosis is that you will go down up down up down up down up but more to your true self see you soon